Hi, I'm Jordan Kegg, I'm 21, born and bred here on the Isle of Man, yes it. I've been working here at the fish market for about three years now. Obviously, being surrounded by the sea on the beautiful Isle of Man, it's given me an interest in fishing and seafood, but since starting at the fish market, that skyrocketed and it's higher than ever. I love everything fish related. Here at the fish market, we are heavily involved in the fishing community on the island, providing 95% of the restaurants. As well as having a large retail presence on the island, we heavily promote the fishing industry on the Isle of Man, helping as many small fishing boats as possible. My favourite aspect of my job is working in the retail section where I can talk with the customers and get to know their needs. We have a massive following of foodies and seafood lovers who like to pop in and tell me all about their seafood stories and their favourite seafood and how to cook it. I've learnt a lot in the three years I've been working as a fishmonger and I hope to continue my journey, bettering my knowledge and honing my skills. So today I'm going to be filling the Love of Lemon Soul. Here it is. As you can see it's lovely and fresh, but the colour is really vibrant. The eyes are nice and clear. So what we do is, through there, we follow that line back around the head, like so. Using a flexi knife so I can follow the bones easily. In, down through the fish, like so. You've opened it up, and then as you can see here, there's a bump where the spine goes up. Tip the knife in, down through the tail, then back up into the head. So that's down the back, and then that's one fillet. So you can tidy that up a bit. Like so. I feel like since starting at the fish market I've become an integral part of the local community and this I'm extremely proud of. So this is how you dress a lobster. Uh, cut the floor and up well. Side. 
I feel like since starting at the fish market I've become an integral part of the local community and this I'm extremely proud of. So that's the end of the Jordan Cake story.